After weeks of comparing printers, reading reviews, and watching time lapses over and over and over again, I finally pulled the trigger on the Bamboo Labs P1S. In this video, I want to go over exactly why I chose this printer as my very first 3D printer starting in my 3D printing journey. If you're new to 3D printing, just like me, and you're looking at starting your 3D printing journey, hopefully this video will give you a little bit more insight as to exactly why the Bamboo Labs P1S might be the printer for you. My name is Cole Hansen. This is Print and Repeat. Let's get into it. So when I finally got into looking at what kind of 3D printer I wanted, I realized I had to come up with a pretty clear checklist. And over time, I developed about four main points that I was really looking at. Number one, I wanted to maintain speed and quality. I wanted the fastest printer I could get while also maintaining as much quality as possible. Number two, I wanted to make sure that this printer was going to be reliable. I wanted to find a company that had a strong backing in the field and had pretty good quality reviews overall for the amount of hours that I'm gonna spend printing, the amount of materials I'm gonna spend printing, and the types of materials I'm gonna spend printing. I'll get to that one in a second. Number three, I really, 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 the biggest thing for me was ease of use. I wanted to find a printer that had a great ecosystem that I could basically plug and print. Spend 20 minutes putting it together, getting everything set up, and then I am off to the races, ready to go, no questions asked. I wanted a printer where I could spend more time printing and less time tinkering than vice versa. And then finally, I kind of wanted to future-proof myself. I knew that I'm a pretty curious person and I'm gonna really wanna start experimenting with other types of materials, probably more tougher materials like PETG and ASA and some of the more fumy materials like ABS. So with those types of filaments, I really wanted to make sure that I had a printer that was enclosed so I could maintain the, the temperature level as well as not really expose myself and my three cats to all the fumes of those materials. Now looking at the P1S at a glance, when we first start talking about speed, this thing prints at 500 millimeters a second. So compared to other bed slinger style printers on the market, this thing is blazingly fast. It is also compared to a bed slinger, a core XY machine. So it prints in a little bit different manner. Instead of the bed moving forward and backwards, the head of the nozzle, actually the head of the printer actually moves on the X and Y plane while the bed rises up and down instead of moving forward and backwards. Next, this thing has a auto bed leveling as well as flow rate calibration. So instead of me spending hours and hours and hours tinkering with the flow rates and the bed calibration to get the first layer of print perfect, I no longer have to do with that. This thing does it all for you. It is completely automated. And then finally, because this is an enclosed system, I do not have to worry about fumes. I do not worry, I have to worry about my cats getting in the machine. I do not have to worry about any of the prints getting messed up because of temperature disparities or anything like that. And then most importantly, the app of this system is absolutely phenomenal. If you've never seen it before, the Bamboo Handy app and the desktop application make using this printer an absolute breeze. This application allows you to go from clicking on a print and finding exactly what you want to printing in less than no time. With this application, you can go into an, uh, a marketplace called Maker World, be able to view all of the 3D prints and designs that other content creators, thousands of other content creators, have designed and modeled directly for these types of systems. You can click on a model, click out exactly what style of print that you want, be able to click prepare, prepare to print, and then from there, you are off to the races once you choose the color or the multicolors that you wanna print for that material. It makes it so simple and so easy to go from being wanting to print and printing in under five minutes. This application also allows you to view your prints in real time, create time lapses, also view nozzle head temperature, bed temperature, and print speeds. You also have the ability, if you have an AMS system, to view the AMS system, figure out what materials and what colors you have in that system currently, as well as the humidity that is in the system to monitor your filaments to make sure that you're in a safe zone. The Bamboo Handy app, I cannot stress enough, is one of the best ecosystems for 3D printing. And if you were looking for a no hassle, easiest, fastest possible way to get into 3D printing without having to tinker, without having to learn the ins and outs of modeling and creating, the Bamboo Handy app is absolutely perfect. When it comes to a real world scenario of using this printer, I'm not gonna lie, the Bamboo Labs ecosystem makes printing so stupid simple. I am not the smartest guy in the world, 
but I cannot stress to you enough how easy it was to get up and running with this 3D printer. The very first print that I ran was a Benchy and it came out absolutely perfectly. I went from clicking prepare to print and then waiting 20 minutes later, running upstairs to find a perfectly printed Benchy sitting right there on my build plate. There was no warping, there was no weird layer lines, there was no strange fragments or stringing on the printer. There was nothing to worry about. I did not have to fool with a Z offset. I did not have to fool with manually adjusting the bed. I did not have to fool with manually adjusting the flow. All I had to do was click prepare to print and then wait 20 minutes for that bench sheet to pop up as perfect and as seamless as possible. I know it kind of seems like I'm fanboying over Bamboo Labs right now and I'm just praising their ecosystem, but I kind of am. And the reason why is because I wanted something that was going to be high quality, high speed, and very easy to use. And ultimately, Bamboo Labs has created that with the P1S. If you were just like me, and you're looking at getting into the 3D printing space, and you want a printer that is going to give you no fuss, no problem at all, it's going to give you high quality prints at a high speed with pro level results every single time, then the P1S might be the printer for you. So if you liked this video and you thought it was helpful and it might have pushed you towards either picking the P1S or not going with it, then please share those in the comments, drop a like, and then click that bell icon to subscribe and see more videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.